Listen, God, I repent. I'm going to fight. I'm going to try. I'm going to struggle. I am I'm not going to repeat that sin anymore. Is that what it means to repent? Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. Now, I do want to start. I apologize if you hear any rain or thundering or if my power just suddenly goes out. Uh, we are getting some kind of crazy weather up here in Tennessee right now. Uh, be sure to be praying for us, but I'm going to try to get this video out before I lose any kind of power. All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about repentance. I'll be completely honest with you. Up until about two weeks ago, I had a false interpretation of what repentance actually was. Now, I had always assumed, and maybe this was my problem, I'd never actually asked anyone, but I'd always assumed that to repent of something was just you saying to God, I will not do this thing anymore. So in scripture, when it says, you know, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near, I think it's just saying, hey, quit committing sins, the kingdom of heaven is near, right? And then we see all throughout scripture, repent, repent, repent. And my assumption was that it just means, okay, I'm not going to sin anymore. Right, and so I would pray and I would repent of my sins and I would say, okay, God, I repent of my sins. And in my brain, I'm simply saying, I'm gonna fight and struggle as hard as I can not to commit those sins anymore. And a couple weeks ago, we got on this topic in my high school guys small group. And one of my high school guys who is way smarter than me actually said, yeah, you know, the Greek word repentance actually means to change your mind. And it just, it threw me for a loop. We continued, we talked about it. And then I got home and I just started reading and studying on it. And he was absolutely right. And repentance, I think, does mean to not commit your sins anymore. I believe that part is true, but not for the same reasons as I had thought before. The definition for the Greek word that they use for the word repentance is this, to change one's way of life as the result of a complete change of thought and attitude with regard to sin and righteousness. So when we repent, we are not simply saying, okay, God, I'm gonna fight and I'm gonna struggle and I'm not gonna commit that sin again and I'm gonna you know, do to the best of my will. You see, to actually repent of something is to completely change your thoughts and actions on that subject. It's not simply, okay, I'm going to quit doing that of my own will, it's I'm going to completely change my thoughts on that subject. In fact, what I'm going to be preaching on Sunday, uh, which don't worry, I will have the sermon up for you guys probably in a week or so. Uh, what I'm going to be preaching on Sunday, I'm going to be talking about this sort of idea of repentance, that it's not, it's not simply to repent and, and try to, with your own will and your own volition to not sin. Instead, it comes to that you have to actually learn to hate your sin. And we can hate our sin when we realize that it is our sin that condemns us. It is our sin that hung Jesus on the cross. It is our sin that puts evil and suffering and hurts the ones we love. It is sin that does that. So even though we may enjoy the act of sin, because let's be real, sin, a lot of times sin is fun, at least to our earthly, fleshly definitions of fun. But even though we may enjoy it, we have to learn to hate it because it is what hurts our loved ones. It is what hurt our Jesus. It's sin. We have to learn to hate our sin. And once we hate our sin, we can repent of our sin because we can then change our thoughts and our actions. And we are no longer tempted to commit that sin because now we hate that sin because we've changed our thoughts and actions on that very sin. So when we repent of something, we completely change our minds on it. We are not just gonna struggle not to do it. We have changed our way of thinking. We have changed our way of understanding. We have changed our way of perceiving that sin. That's what it means to repent. In Acts 26, 20, it says, I preached that they should repent and turn to God and prove their repentance by their deeds. You get that? He preached that they should repent of their sins. They should change their way of thinking of their sins. They should change the way they think of their culture. They should prove their repentance. They should prove their changed minds by their actions. So show that you have actually changed your mind by the actions you take, by the words you speak, by the deeds you do, by the way you treat other people. You can prove if your mind is truly changed or if you just have some behavior modification going on. Repentance is not behavior modification. Repentance is thought transformation. One of my favorite theologians, Charles Spurgeon, 
Just butchered Charles Spurgeon's name. I'm so sorry. Repentance is a discovery of the evil of sin. I have discovered the evilness of my sin, a mourning that we have committed it. So I am now mourning a death that I have committed that sin. It's a resolution to forsake it. It is in fact a change of mind of a very deep and practical character, which makes the man love what he once hated and hate what he once loved. To repent is to discover what you're doing is sinful. It is then to mourn the fact that you committed it. It is then to hate that sin that you once loved and learn to love what you once hated. You see, it's true that Christianity, that following Jesus will give you freedom, but we so often think that biblical freedom is the same thought as our freedom because we think our freedom means we can do whatever we want. And that is completely the opposite of biblical freedom. Biblical freedom means we are free from sin, not free to commit sin. I'm going to end with this quote from John Piper. Repenting means experiencing a change of mind that now sees God as true and beautiful and worthy of all our praise and all our obedience. Repenting is simply this. We change our minds. Again, it's not behavior modification. It is mind transformation. That instead of simply struggling against our sin, we change our thoughts on it and we begin to hate our sin. And in doing so, we begin to love God for who He is and we begin to hate sin for what it did to God and what it does to God. And we love God for who He is. That, in essence, is what it means to repent. We are called to confess our sins, which I covered in a past video, and you can watch it right here. And we are called to repent of our sins. And again, that does not mean behavior modification. It means mental transformation, that we change our mind, our thoughts, and our actions. And it is shown through our deeds, our words, and our perceptions. That is what repentance is. I hope that helped you. I hope that blessed you. If you enjoyed this video, I release content just like this every single week and a shorter devotion on every single Tuesday. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below about what repentance means to you. All right, guys, love you. Keep living that bold life.